Hi all folks, this is Max from um, RootKindleFire.com So I've got a review of the Bare Bones CM7 This is Cyanogen Mod 7 um, This is Gingerbread 2.3.4 Themed uh, ICS, you get the three buttons um, Sort of like ICS And uh, the launcher kind of stays on uh, horizontal So I've installed Launcher EX, which works fine um, The greatest thing about this, this ROM is that everything is working like you know you don't have to worry about uh, Netflix working um, let's actually look at Netflix which Hannah Mountain and I wasn't watching that somebody else was watching that but um let me see here come on um no I just gotta restart uh, Netflix real quick here Doo -doo -doo. you know how the le Netflix kind of like freezes on you if you start it the next day and then and then it'll restart so that's just what it is but I'll show you that Netflix works um, it works fine it just kind of uh, just looks a little bit shorter than it doesn't fill up the whole screen um, but you know with versus the CM9 there you go and you get your buttons over here instead so you can go back home um, and also you, if you touch up here there's supposed to be volume buttons oh there we go so the volume buttons are up here it's just hidden you can get get it to 100% um, flash works YouTube works uh, we can go actually I'm not sure if is it flash works and you have to actually it doesn't actually come with the browser I installed a dolphin which isn't a big deal but if you're looking for a full fully working um, ROM that's non Kindle OS, like completely non Kindleized. Um, this is definitely <clears throat> the way to go because YouTube works fine. There's no stuttering. It works actually flawless. Flawless. Since it went on spoil. So that's the good thing that everything's working. Whereas the CM9, the ICS ROM, we we saw before um, the HD video, whatever wasn't working. The video Kodak wasn't working. So this one it works. The Netflix you get a slightly shorter, and then uh, YouTube YouTube works fine. Everything you know you can use it as a, as a fully non Kindle device by using the CM7. Until CM9 comes out, I think this is a good good ROM to stay on um, if, if you just want to turn your Kindle Fire into a total Android device and you won't get up you know you don't you won't get those annoying updates you know automatically I think it uh, updates automatically uh, so that was a review of the CM's CM7 uh, I'll show you the settings and uh, about tablet uh, CM7. To install this, you actually have to um, do it a certain way, and uh, I'll have another video on how to do that. Damn it. <clears throat> um, actually, you know what? I'll show you right now. At the end of the video, we'll reboot into. Um, we'll power off first. Okay. And it's powered off. Powered on. And then hold the hold the button down until it turns orange. There you go, and let it go, and it will enter into twerp recovery. You have to have your Kindle Fire rooted and with twerp in recovery installed already. And uh, copy over the three files. Oh, no, no, there's, there's, a, there's a file. Um, I'll basically show you. Advanced. What you can do is uh, uh, mount, go to mount, mount USB storage connect it to your computer and it will show up on your computer let's go to our computer and uh... let's move this oops let me pop and if you go to your computer you'll download uh, um... to this uh... zip file All right, and then you're gonna copy the first part which is the step one cm bare bones CM7 barebones zip. Copy it anywhere into your Kindle Drive. And then there's a folder um, under twerp. There's a folder t uh, twerp. 
and then uh, under backups under 0000, zero, 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 zero there's step 2 CM7 bare bones um, copy that folder into that folder um, and then and then we'll go back to our tablet and what we're do doing here basically is uh, basically we're gonna do the step one which pretty much installs the system files and then um, let me do a mount and then we're gonna use the twerp recovery function the developer of this ROM made it so it's kinda like a two parts thing but it's fine it works fine home go to home um, so do a white first before you do anything white factory reset factory reset and this will reset everything and then um, we'll do the next part which is the install the first file alright back and home and install uh, I put in my download folder the first part so step 1 cm7 barebones.zip there flash alright and once that's done flashing we're gonna go restore it um, the step 2 is, is in the torp directory and then we're gonna go to main menu go to restore and then st uh, step 2 cm7 bare bones alright and then restore now make sure data is checked on restore now and that's pretty much it we reboot it and you should have cm7 bare bones uh, ROM on your Kindle Fire and you know I will reboot it for you and uh, you should have a non totally non Kindle I think this is the only ROM out there right now um, correct me if I'm wrong that is completely non Kindleized and with everything working we, we know we have the ICS experimental alpha version but um, since video is not working uh, Netflix not working video decoding is not working we'll say this is the current champion of non Kindle OS on Kindle Fire <laughs> so I'll be back when this completely reboots I don't want to waste your time here Oh, that's what the the um, the boot animation looks like. I just want to show you. Kind of cool. And the, you know, I I think this is a completely usable um, ROM, and it 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 doesn't look pretty, obviously, because it's still gingerbread on your tablet device. But everything works, you know. Um, so it's actually kind of cool. And I suggest you go install like a launcher, like go launcher EX because the home screen only works horizontally and this is what it looks like but once you install the launchers um, you know customize it to your liking you don't have a browser just go download a browser um, then you should be good to go and there's also volume control app that you can change the color customize it um, otherwise it's a fully working ROM actually this is the only fully working ROM um, you know that's non Kindle complete non Kindle so check it out subscribe don't forget to subscribe to my email list at rootkindlefire.com I update you once a week um, on the whatever Kindle Fire hack I made or I did this week and also on this YouTube channel and if you would like to hit that like button I would highly appreciate it and don't forget to share this video send it email it Twitter Facebook it to your friends who have Kindle Fire so they know they can do this also. Alright, thanks y'all and see y'all later.